Hello Virgo, this is Eva at Munga Das Oracle and this can be your reading if your sun, moon, rising sign or Venus is in Virgo. This is a twin flame reading and the way I do this reading is you are the divine feminine Virgo whether a man or a woman and your person you are dealing with is the divine masculine whether a man or a woman. You know you are a divine feminine if you are in a twin flame connection so if it applies to you, this could be your reading. I am using the energy oracle first. And I would like to see your thoughts, emotions and intentions on the left hand side. And the same for your twin flame on the right hand side. So your thoughts are showing up as attachment. This is a number five energy. And... Um, it's like you are aware that the twin flame connection is not like a regular romantic connection. This is about working through karmic patterns, breaking through limitations, society's expectations, and there is a change going on in this connection. Um, you are holding this mask. I don't know how much you can see it. And uh, looking at it like, why did I do this? Why did I not see things um, earlier about this connection and about myself? Because this is a learning curve. So you have done nothing wrong. Uh, you, this is what is going on in your mind. Let's see, what are your feelings? Yeah, you feel love towards your person towards your twin flame it's a 45 energy 4 is stability 5 is change 4 plus 5 is 9 making progress so you feel like um, in spite of the obstacles the two of you are expressing this love towards each other and um, this is the truth this is how you feel you can't stop thinking about them and what is your intention towards them oh victory reversed so this is a 28 energy, which is 2 plus 8 is 10, a new beginning, a completion, a new beginning. So you feel like for now this cycle has closed. Um, there is no victory. It didn't work out the way you wanted it. And that's where you stand right now. Okay, let's look at the same thing from your twin flames perspective what they think about you and the connection the garden and the gate number 30 energy three is emotional expression zero is inner gifts so interestingly they think that you need to be the one who is venturing out to areas where you haven't been before okay I am going to clarify that later. How they feel about you. Yeah, you are a, a possibility and also a yin and yang. Very interesting energies. 2 plus 4 is 6. 2 plus 2 is 4. 6 plus 4 is 10. So there is this uh, completion and new beginnings. You two went as far as you could in the current circumstances. They do feel that the two of you belong together. This is my twin flame card in this deck. And um, they know that um, they can choose not to be with you like you can choose not to be with them. This very strong attraction is there although they are not expressing it as you do openly, emotionally, but they do feel very strongly about you. So what is their intention towards you at this time? Fifth Chakra Archangel Gabriel. This is about communication, expressing how they feel, lots of emotions to express. They feel they made progress and one, sorry, three plus nine is pardon me, is 12, 1 plus 2 is 3. So they are evolving, changing, expressing themselves better than they have done in the past, but they need more of that. So you are giving up on them and they are getting ready to open up to you. And the underlying energy is the goddess of the moon. So this is um, intuition 
and the need to change, the need to connect with your higher selves and with each other. And yeah, this third party situation is still showing up. So that hasn't changed. The third party situation is still there. Okay, now let's see what is the obstacle between the two of you. We've got strategy and patience. Again, another number 10. 3 plus 7 is 10. So it's about divine timing um, and uh, knowing what both of you want. So the obstacle is not having a plan and not understanding that twin flames are a bond which is unbreakable and you cannot just uh, sweep it out of your life. You have to come to terms with how you feel, how you think this connection can be in your life, part of your life. So you need to uh, transform feelings of rejection, hurt into love, unconditional love. And that's the way forward. And what is the possible outcome for now? Anxiety number nine and the thinking woman at the bottom right now. So it shows that both of you are worried of losing the other person, but both of you are also feeling that it can't be the end fully. If, even though maybe you Virgo don't want a romantic connection with them, or you understood that in this third party situation it's not a possibility, but you still want to be in touch on good terms, uh, like friends or allies with them, and uh, maybe they come to that conclusion as well. So we will need to clarify things here. Okay, let's do that. So I am interested in your person, this um, energy of the garden and the gate. This is what they think about you, that you don't dare to break out of some kind of comfort zone. So why do you think that? What is this here? Page of Swords, Strength card and the King of Cups with the Three of Pentacles at the bottom. So they do uh, observe you, watch you, find you very strong and they know that you love them. But you are hiding this love from them and they want you to express it even though it's still a third party situation. So you want to fight for them. They want you to fight for them. But they are not going to change this third party situation. So about their possibilities. Yeah, they escape to work and they, they are trying to create this new prosperous beginning because you make them happy. They know that their happiness depends on you. And if you are not there, they feel abandoned. So they are trying to decide what to do. You show up as the Queen of Wands and there is the Justice card right there. So it is like, should I end the third party situation? Should I not? And this communication, what is this about? The Empress and the Lovers. So two major arcana cards here and their wishes. That's the bottom of the deck. So they want to tell you how much they adore you. They want to tell you how much they feel attracted to you and can't imagine their life without you. And also that you are everything that they ever wished for. And they are the emperor. They show up as the emperor. Look at this making a choice about a third party situation. So they know that the two of you uh, should be together. It's destined, it's what they want, but the third party is in the way. 
the third party is in the way. So what can we see about this third party? The world reversed, the death card reversed, and the star at the bottom, all major arcana cards again. Okay, so... It's unfinished business with the third party. They don't want to rebirth anything in there. They want to go for their wishes, but it's a very big decision to leave that third party behind. So they are at least looking into it. What is this strategy about as the obstacle? Queen of Swords. Yeah, you cut them out. None of you know what's next. Ace of Cups. No, none of you are sure whether you actually want to restart this connection. And waiting. So waiting for that divine timing. Waiting for the right time to come into communication again. To reconnect again. What is this anxiety as the outcome? Five of Cups and the Four of Swords. So yeah, there is no communication between the two of you right now. Separation, grief, uh, trying to find a way forward. There is Temperance, Nine of um, Pentacles and the Hanged Man at the bottom. So you both try to create a situation where the two of you have a chance to come together or at least thinking about it how it would be. So the... The intent is there on both sides, but it's not uh, manifesting just yet. It's not coming into fruition just yet. So I am going to pull a few cards about the Twin Flame Shades of Light and Dark with Soul Magic 99. What can we see? What is showing up about the Twin Flame connection? And then I am going to go to Patreon to continue this reading to see what else uh, Spirit is showing us. So before we do that, let me just tell you uh, who you could be dealing with. We've got Sagittarius, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, um, Capricorn, Scorpio... These are the main energies showing up here. Okay, so what can we learn about the energies? Sadness, inner work, meditation, healing, overcoming life's obstacles, questions in mind, is that what I want exactly? So this is the time for both of you, which has been created in alignment with um, divine order that the two of you right now in separation no contact which gives the time and the space for both of you to heal and uh, to realize what you both truly want interesting okay so let's ask what the divine masculine wants to tell you this is divine masculine energies of light and dark soul magic 99 so what your divine masculine wants to tell you in this situation Virgo anxiety depression low mood sadness exactly so that anxiety is mutual the sadness is very strong they are feeling really sad about how this connection is going. Entertaining someone who likes to put on a show, make others feel better like, and liking the attention. Alone, lonely, self-isolating. So it's a very interesting uh, insight into how your Divine Masculine is dealing with this. For the public, anyone else but you, they put up this uh, face, this front, of I am happy, I am okay, everything is fine, but inside they are feeling all of these low energies and they feel very alone, very lonely without you. So it's possible it's a third party situation, no one else knows about the two of you, just the two of you, and they feel really very, very lonely without you. Okay, so Virgo, we also have here the star seed 
or a co. And I am going to see what is showing up as a guidance. Okay, it was very quick. Earth School Life Lessons, Soul Growth Study, Higher Learning and Star Family. You are part of a team of souls call in support. So it shows that you both are learning, both you and your soulmate, about yourselves and uh, spiritually. And um, you are in the same star family, but there are others who also can help you, maybe in a spirit form, maybe connecting uh, in the physical world, but there is help available. That's what is showing up right now. So um, this looks like the time when you both need to look within and find out what you want. And let's ask about this anxiety energy as the outcome for now. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. So it's possible that you are dealing with a narcissist. It's possible that they don't know how to grow up emotionally, how to not to manipulate someone else, because this is the way they were brought up. And that love bombing is showing up right now as the Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming, surprise, invitation or meeting, hesitation. So I feel that... Um, they are aware that you are in a twin flame connection as it shows up right now. They are reminiscing right now. They want to come together as a couple. But this is a huge obstacle that um, they are emotionally not grown up. And their way of uh, existing is controlling, manipulating, um, not knowing how to give love, maybe confusing love and sex and uh, they are wounded they need healing big time so this is where you are heading virgo i'm going to continue this on patreon and uh, see um, whether there is a good way forward for the two of you to be positive about this and um, Thank you so much for being here, liking, sharing, subscribing and commenting. If you wish to receive my videos in the future, please hit the notification bell. And if you want to have a personal reading or coaching session with me, I am available. Please get in touch. Sending you lots of love. Bye for now.